So I'm the type of traveler that doesn't like to wake up 10, 20 minutes before lobby call or whenever it's time to leave. I like to give myself plenty of time to maybe eat breakfast, take a shower, pack my bags. In fact, I usually pack my bags the night before so I make sure I don't forget anything. Because, you know, in the morning sometimes you're so groggy that you forget stuff and that's happened before. There's been times where I've missed my alarm or I didn't hear my alarm or I set my alarm for p.m. instead of a.m. and I was running late for lobby call and you know when you have to throw stuff in your bag that takes extra time so just as a precaution I, I pack my bags the night before so it's a lot easier in the morning. I know it's it sounds very anal retentive but I've been through situations where I've almost missed lobby call and I'm not gonna go through that shit again. I need, at the very least, maybe 30 minutes to get ready. I've been known to wake up sometimes an hour and a half, two hours before lobby call just so I can wake up, have some tea or coffee, go down to breakfast, shower, pack my bags, make sure that I have everything, and then I'll go down to lobby call maybe five, 10 minutes early. Don't forget, these are the three things you wanna make sure you have, your passport, cell phone and your wallet <sighs> one more show one more show it's so weird you basically do everything yourself and check in you scan your own bag if it weighs underneath it automatically goes through no human helped me If it was three bags, it would be the same thing, sir. Yeah. I guess it's, it is a musician's hotel or something. Wow. <laughs> That's cool. This is a pretty cool hotel. It seems catered to musicians. You know, live music in the lobby. There's a guitar that you can just pick up and plug in. It reminds me of the Hyatt House in uh, Almost Famous. Mr. Jimmy Page, Mr. John Paul Jones, Mr. Yeah, my body is definitely telling me that it's tired. Uh, I took a nap on the 45 minute flight and I was napping hard. I can tell that I'm pretty much at exhaustion level. Good thing this is the last show tonight and we're going home tomorrow. Excited. I think I'm gonna walk around just cause that's my only chance. Ooh, I actually have an hour until sound check. a nice 15 minutes of relaxation on the bed and watching TV. Ah, uh, I could have fallen asleep. The venue is across the street, so as soon as we're done, I am out of there and back here. And tonight, I probably won't sleep at all, because my flight's at um, 7.30 a.m., which means I gotta get out of here by 5 a.m. <laughs> Closed? the juice out of the oh, hand. Oh, I was going to say. So you Some hold the, the you hold body, <laughs> pinch the tail. Nice Thanks for telling me. I was getting ready to eat that. And that's what you eat. You'd known that I was coming to uh, yeah, Stockholm yeah, and so he's a fellow guitar player. He's friends with this guy that makes these very unique uh, Guitar necks. This is no Look at this. Oh. I just want. I just, I just want to know. 
So these are both of us. These are both of us. Okay. A real 77. Oh, wow. Oh, so he just refretted it. Okay, here. Yeah, because of this. Okay, yes. I really got out of the way. I got in contact with a guy here in Stockholm, his name is David. Uh, he's friends with the, the folks that do True Temperament frets and the necks. He actually brought over two, three guitars for me to check out. One's a, an acoustic, an old Ibanez Steve Lukather model from like 1983, which is awesome. And then he brought his 77 Strat and he's letting me use the 77 Strat with the crazy frets tonight and I'm really excited about it because it really does sound more in tune up and down the neck. I noticed uh, particular triads sound more in tune than I've ever heard them before. But I really noticed uh, like an open E chord sounded extremely in tune and that one, the first fret, you can see there's a really big squiggly. So that fret is really been adjusted. I'm excited about tonight's gig. It's the last gig. I'm going home tomorrow early morning. I just need to get through this show and wake up, get on the planes tomorrow, and I can't wait to be home. Hey, look who did I run into in Stockholm, Sweden. My boy Sean, great drummer from LA. He's got a vlog of his own. I'll put a link. Sean Vlog, whatever the day is. All right, that's it. I'm done. I had some friends that came out tonight, friends that I haven't seen in a long time and met some new people. All in all, it was a great last gig of the tour. This has been an amazing experience traveling to all these different countries that I've never been to before, meeting all these awesome people, making new friends, meeting fans, but uh, I am ready to go home. I'm tired. Um, I gotta be up in five hours, so good night.